hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install wireshark on a macbook pro you'll need a browser you can use chrome or whichever browser you want to use so i'm using safari and i'm just gonna search for wireshark download and i'm gonna click the link that takes us to wireshark.org uh, now once you get to this page you'll see that there's different options depending on what kind of uh, chip you're running you might need to install or you might need to download intel or you might need, need to download the arm in order for you to check your chip you, you can just go to this icon here the i the apple icon if you click on it and go to about this mark you should find the information that tells you what kind of chip you're running so once you have that information, you know which release you need to download. Now I already downloaded the um, this one right here. So to download it, just click click on it, and then finish the download process. So since I already downloaded this, I'm just gonna cancel this, and then just take note of where you that file is gonna be downloaded to. I have mine in the downloads folder. Let me go ahead and open that so it's in the downloads folder right here this is where i downloaded the file to now to install it you'll need to click on it and this window will pop up there's this read me fast so if you click on this read me fast html file should give you setup instructions so for instance it's it's giving us a quick setup so it's saying to install Wireshark, drag the Wireshark application bundle to the applications folder. And then it says in order to be able to capture packets, you need to install the chmod bpf package. And also if you'd like to add a part to Wireshark, we need to install this also. You can read the rest of it if you feel like it. Once you're ready, you can come here now to install it it says just click on it and drag it to the applications folder and that should should install it for you now that once you drag it a window pops up so this is the window that will pop up since i already dragged that file um i'm not gonna keep it i'm gonna stop and then we need to install this so just double click on this and this is what you'll get and then just click continue and then it tells you the amount of space it's going to take and then it says click click install to perform a standard installation uh, just click install you will need your password here and then it says the installation was successful click close I'm just going to keep it for now and then we'll install this one, add Wireshark to the system part. So double click on it. Again, you get this pop-up window. Click continue and then install. And put in your password again. And then click close. We can keep it. Okay, that should be it as far as the installation now we can try and uh, run wireshark so you can just click on your launch pad and then you can search for wireshark and then you'll get this pop-up window right here you can say it says wireshark is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it open it now like i'm I'm running two monitors and I'm capturing the screen on this one so I'm not able to show my launch pad but this is what you get once you search for Wireshark you'll see it and then when you click on it this is what you get just click on open and this is what is gonna pop up so this is the Wireshark and right now it's just gonna show you the interfaces that it's seeing for instance it's seeing traffic on my wi-fi interface so you can capture 
this traffic so all you have to do is with this one uh, highlighted or selected you can just click on this and it should start capturing packets on this uh, interface and to stop it we just click on stop and this is uh, the traffic that we were able to capture within those few seconds here uh, well you can see we have UDP and then we see an app reply right here so that's pretty much it that's how you install Wireshark on a MacBook Pro so mine is running the M1 chip and uh, like I said you just have to make sure you you know which chip you're running to to know which version you need to download so i hope this video has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye